are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, here we go again, guys. We're going to be talking about the NHL. Now, the NHL has definitely embraced wokeness. I'm talking about corporate NHL. Now, when it comes to the players, the players, they have definitely not been as woke as the NHL. We have seen team after team now actually reject wearing pride jerseys. And we have another case here that actually uh, I believe happened yesterday, by the way. Look here on Outkick, NHL's Minnesota Wild accused of homophobia after refusing to wear pride jerseys. Now, ever since Ivan Provorov decided not to wear a pride jersey, actually, he didn't, he, I believe he didn't even go on the, on the ice in, in pregame. Or he didn't play the game. I don't remember exactly what it was. The NHL players, they have definitely been fighting back against the woke teams and the woke NHL. They don't want to actually wear these pride jerseys. I said it before, guys, that uh, all these sports leads, they need to end all of this virtue sitling. Whether it be uh, the NBA with uh, built by Black History, Black History Month. Uh, by the way, guys, Gay Pride Month is supposed to be like in uh, June. But yet we're seeing this inflict in every single month of the year, especially when it comes to sports teams. It is a virtue signal. Why celebrate anyone's sexuality at a hockey game? It doesn't make any sense to me. Never made any sense in the virtue signaling. But of course, since uh, the Minnesota Wild here, the players, they didn't want to wear um, pride jerseys. They have been called homophobic. I'm not surprised by this. I'm really not. And the vast majority of all people, guess what? They're straight. Let's just face it. We live in a straight world for the most part. And people do have their religious beliefs. And the major religions, they all teach against homosexuality. Doesn't mean that that anybody hates gay people. But they're not going to be celebrating something that goes against their religion. But let's go ahead and get into this here on OutKick. NHL's Minnesota Wild accused of homophobia after refusing to wear pride jerseys. If it was me, I wouldn't be wearing a pride jersey either. I would actually take a stand. I don't want to celebrate any of that stuff. And actually, even if it was, um, you know, straight pride, for example, I'm a straight man. I'm not going to be celebrating sexuality. I'm just not. But here we go. The NHL's Minnesota Wild were hounded by critics Tuesday night. Following a last minute decision to ditch their pride themed jerseys for warm ups. After promoting their special warm up jerseys for their pride night matchup against the Calgary Flames, wild players appeared on the ice Tuesday without the jerseys and set off a number of people who called the retraction homophobic. The decision to not wear the rainbow colored jerseys was slammed as dismissive of the gay community and wild players were called bigots for their move. So let me let me get this straight here. Just because you don't want to actually wear a pride jersey. That makes you a bigot. Really, that makes you a bigot because you don't want to bend the knee to the mob and wear a shirt that they want you to wear. Like I said, I would not actually wear this. I'm not celebrating anybody's sexuality. You know what? Why don't we actually have a um, and I know these sports leagues will never do it because, you know, they'll get crushed for it. How about having family night where you actually celebrate mother and father? You never see that. You never see that. But you you're starting to see a lot of this um, alphabet stuff being pushed in sports. The Milwaukee Bucks had a full on drag show at halftime. Why are they doing that? It is a virtue signal. These players, I'm pretty sure that the Bucks players, they probably don't enjoy drag shows. I'm pretty sure they don't. They probably won't come out and say it, but I'm willing to bet that they don't. But it's the organizations that feel that they actually need to virtue signal. And it just needs to stop. Look at this comment right here. Yet another NHL team has caved to homophobia and abandoned the wearing of LGBT pride jerseys for warmups. 
While the team did execute other initiatives, it's yet another slap in the face from the NHL and its players. See, they still did other stuff. But since the players didn't actually want to wear the jerseys, it's not enough. And folks, guess what? It will never, ever, ever be enough for the woke mob. It just won't. A number of uh, players still opted to wear the rainbow tape on their hockey sticks during the warm ups. Of course, that will not be enough because probably not many people going to actually see the uh, the pride rainbow tape on the sticks. The mob demands more. They demand complete compliance. I would have not even used the um, the hockey stick. I, w- I wouldn't have because in the game, I'm pretty sure they didn't have. The uh, the pride flag on the hockey sticks It's all a virtue signal. Uh, Game worn pride jerseys were expected to be signed and auctioned after the game. Well, guess what? That didn't happen (laughs) because the players never wore them. They never wore wore them. So nothing's getting signed. Nothing is getting auctioned off. The Wild released a statement following a wave of backlash. Who was actually causing the backlash? The woke mob. Uh. Probably people that aren't even NHL fans because they're the ones that actually do this. Minnesota's response wasn't much of an apology as much as it was a reminder that the organization was celebrating Pride Night in different ways. Needless to say, Minnesota was still bashed for the move, of course. And this is what the uh, the team posted right here. Uh, Quote, the Minnesota Wild organization is proud to continue our support of the LGBTQIA plus LMNOP at XYZ community by hosting our second annual Pride Pride Night tonight, which we are celebrating in many ways. It is important to host nights like this to show all players, fans, and the LGBTQIA plus LMNOP at XYZ community that hockey is for everyone. Wasn't it for everyone anyway? I mean, if people wanted to watch hockey, who was actually stopping them? If a player wanted to actually pursue a hockey career, who was actually stopping them? Nobody, nobody. But they continue on. We will continue to utilize our platform to strengthen our community and create a greater state of hockey. And nobody here actually cares about the score of the game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the online backlash was wild. Some call for Minnesota players that refuse to wear their jerseys to be publicly shamed, of course. It says here, I'm sure Jack Jablonski, who is part of the Alphabet community, is thrilled to know that the Minnesota Wild opted against Pride jerseys tonight. And um, I'm assuming he's a player. Maybe I'm not really sure who he is, but anyway, um, the Minnesota Wild announcing the the retraction of Pride jerseys right before the game starts is so cowardly. The Minnesota Wild based in Minnesota. Minneapolis will unironically have a thin blue line tonight, but supporting inclusivity in the sport is apparently a bridge too far. Hockey culture is a literal stain on society, and no matter how hard anybody tries, it never seems to get better. Now, let's see here. New York Rangers, Minnesota Wild, Ivan Provorov, you will not see the gates of heaven. Oh, my goodness. The Minnesota Wild have become concerned that direct physical and radical pressure is being extorted by fascists. Oh, my goodness. By green light genocide (laughs) against the alphabet community and have decided to bat down in the most cowardly way possible. Okay, so now they're bringing in fascism and genocide. Really? I mean, (laughs) this is crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy. But I'm not surprised, man. I'm not surprised, but I'm glad the NHL players are taking a stand to get a stance against all that. If they don't want to wear the, wear the uh, jerseys, they shouldn't have to wear the jerseys. I'm pretty sure that these players probably had religious reasons as to why they didn't want to um, actually wear the jerseys. But the mob doesn't care. They don't they don't care. I mean, this is insane, guys. But shout out to the players, man, that they actually refused to bend the knee. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. 
and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.